Bon, ben voilà. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Ok, alors bon retour. Merci, bon soirée. Merci à vous aussi. <laughs> Take away Chinese goes great with Sotan. Wow, we're gonna have a good time. Okay, and well, we're having. Takeaway Chinese with various sotans. Here we've just ordered the Chinese. Guy arrived on the scooter, delivered it. Um, while we were waiting, we were a little bit hungry, so um, we just had a Cru Bourgeois Sautern Chateau Au Bergeron, uh, 2008. While we were waiting, uh, with a little slice of foie gras that we happened to have in the fridge. Um, that was very nice. It was a, a very... Um, clean cut, pure style of wine, which we, we really enjoyed. You know, more in the simple style, but, but really went well to start with. Then the guy arrived, and he brought all these dishes. And we have had two sorts of soup. We've had the, uh, the, the normal chicken noodle soup, this one. Uh, and we have had the, what do they call it, the... Um, uh, potage à la Pékinoise, which is much heavier and spicier, a bit more gelatinous. And I think there we found that another 2008 went really well. Um, I mean, they all go well with everything. And be clear that in, in China and in Chinese restaurants, all the food arrives at once, so you're not going to be doing much food pairing. But it was kind of interesting just to see. And we thought this La Forêt Perigay 2008 went really great. Eric Laramon I just gave us this bottle on our last stop in Sauterne this afternoon. And uh, so, thank you, Eric. Uh, this is really going well with those two soups. With We've got the crab here, stuffed crab, which is not too spicy. It's just a little touch spicy. Oh, wait a minute, that's the Coutet 89. Okay, so I'm out of sync here. But anyway, even with the Coutet 89, which is a, um, a slightly richer and, of course, older wine with more, more evolved flavours, less of the fresh fruit flavours of the uh, of the 2008 um, La Fourie Perrequet, it still actually goes really good. It really go, it goes very well. What I would suggest is maybe the older wines on some of the softer dishes and the younger wines probably on some of the more spicy dishes. Uh, would you agree, Steve? I, as you say, it all all goes well. To be honest, it really does. You and know, that La you can see uh, really right. going well with everything. Absolutely. So you know, if really um, there is a problem with Chinese food, uh, with food pairings, because all the food arrives at once, uh, then I think So Turn has less of a problem than maybe uh, white dry white wines or red wines, where the food pairing is maybe more important. Uh, these all seem to go well with everything. Um, some of them may be slightly better with some things, but it's very slight, the difference. So, here we've got some rather spicier dishes. We've got uh, beef, uh, what's it called? Beef um, with uh, spice, spicy beef. Um, I would suggest here, you know, oh, should we try the Tokai? We've got a five Petonios uh, Chateau Paisos 99 uh, Tokai, very kindly offered to us by uh, Chateau Cliné. Um, this is a wine which is less alcohol than Sauterne, 11 degrees instead of the standard 13 or 14 for Sauterne. Probably with the same amount of sweetness. Uh, seems to have a much higher acidity, so the balance is totally different. Here we are tasting something which is like uh, fairly acid fruit. Mm. Actually, that goes that goes good. That goes good. But the, the wine dominates the food there actually, uh, because there's such a, a punch of um, papaya kind of flavour there that it almost dominates the food. So maybe it's, you know this could take something even spicier still. 
And now we'll try we'll try one of the other dishes with this Chateau de Mal 99, which has a, a much softer character. We tasted it just now. And it's beginning to get that lovely sort of burnt candy, uh, older wine flavour. 99 was a, a fairly soft vintage, which I thought was always a very underrated vintage. 99 was a very, very good vintage. The wines have evolved quite fast, um, and they've got, but they've got this lovely soft sweetness to them. And we'll just try that with, what shall we do? The, shall we do the duck with the mango? So we've got a little piece of mango. Here we've got a little piece of duck. Um, a little bit of the mango going on in the duck. Try the mel. It's too soft. Too soft. It needs something with a bit more lift to it. Um, maybe if we went back to the La Forêt Perraguet 2008, that would work. Where is it? Here we are. Let's try that. I've still got the taste of the mango in my mouth and the duck. Um, That works better. That's much better. But it's close, you know. I don't think it matters. But I think probably the spicier thing here, in this instance, works better on a younger wine. And then we'll just try the chicken, which is chitin satay, but it doesn't seem to have any peanut in it. Um, I'll just take a little bite here. Chicken satay, and let's do it with how about with this excellent bottle of Coutet 89? That should work. Where's the Coutet 89? Uh, there we are. No? Here. Right. Coutet 89. 20 year old wine, 22 year old wine. Excellent vintage. Very ripe vintage, rather in the style of 2009, but probably a little bit less sweetness. Oh, that's exquisite. Oh, well, that really works. Something like the chicken, that really works. Um, do you remember, Steve, we did the, um, that famous dinner at Chateau Coutet, where I think we had this wine with just a regular roast chicken. And it was absolutely fabulous, wasn't it? So, the conclusion of all that is that pretty much everything goes. Um, maybe it's more complicated with the older wines than the younger wines. The younger wines, I think they all go with everything. The older wines... Maybe we have to be a little bit more careful and not to have things that are too spicy. So I'm contradicting myself here, but I think that's probably the conclusion.